Hi, it's Laura from Lawrence Branch. Today with a variation on gum wrapper or paper chains uh, that I've made into, in this case, a bookmark. And instead of gum wrappers, we're gonna use card catalog cards, which uh, when I started working here 30 years ago in October, 1991, we did still have the card catalog and that's how we found books. So let's get started. Here are some variations on how you can make those chains depending on what kind of paper you're using. So in my case, we're going to cut the catalog card into three equal parts, and we're gonna do a little bit less folding than if we had gum wrappers. So I mostly just eyeball it, but here if you wanna hold up a ruler, you are going to cut a third, a third, and a third, so that they look like this. I wasn't particularly concerned with the wording, but if you have a supply of cards and you want to have uh, you know, more interesting titles, then you could dig around. Um, here I've got a uh, history of um, the story of a Confederate warrior. And as we get to the actual project, you can see that you will see the wording and you may not be able to plan exactly where it will fit, but you can position them in interesting ways. First step, let's fold this in half. Like this. Next, we're going to fold it in half lengthways. Like this. Next, we're gonna unfold and take both of the outer sections and fold them right into that center fold. Try to keep it pretty even, right like that, and then fold it again. Okay, so you've got one of these. Let me take it apart to show you. We fold it in half, we unfold it, put the two outer ends into the middle, and fold it. And this is your basic building block. Now I'm going to do the rest of these. Okay, that didn't take long, and children could absolutely do this. Like, like, like I said, the paper's a little bit thick, but uh, once they get the hang of it, they can absolutely do the prep for this. So you're gonna have two sides to this. You see four folds on one side and eight folds on the other side. And notice the difference because as you're inserting them into one another, it's always easy, easier to, um, it'll go faster for you if you insert into the side with the four, with the closed folds to you. All right, let's give that a try. Put this end into, not this end, but this end here, the closed side. Okay, so now I've got two for the third, putting my closed end into the closed end, and I'm watching that the closed end for the next one is going to be facing in the direction that I need it. So this one is gonna go this way, but not this way. And here it is, and so forth on. And so children can also do this part. It's just, um, you know, they just have to get the hang of which direction to get it in. And I made a few mistakes. So if you make a mistake, you can certainly pull it out and just flip it over. And so uh, just to make this into something nicer than a bookmark, I thought I would dig and uh, see if I could make it into a bracelet. And I'm gonna try, I've got some elastic here and I've got some uh, string. I'm gonna see if that will work. And voila, I like the way the elastic worked. Lovely. Hi, I'm Ann. I'm a reference librarian here at Mercer County Library. And when I first started, it was many, many years ago, and all we had was the card catalog to tell us what books we owned. Now, we knew we owned them by looking at the card catalog, but we didn't know if they were on the shelf or not. So we would always have to get up and go to the shelf and see if they were in. And we didn't know when they would be coming back, if they were checked out. We didn't know if they were missing. We didn't know that much. So we worked with our card catalog and we kept it up and we felt we had a wonderful system. And then we got the electronic catalog 
and I was thinking to myself, well, I don't know if I'm going to like this because I'm so used to that wonderful old card catalog. But the very first day we got the, that electronic card catalog, we saw not only did we have this book, we knew that it was on the shelf or we knew it was checked out and it was so fantastic. So I immediately said, let's get rid of that old card catalog and go with the electronic catalog. And that's what we did. Thanks for watching everybody. See you soon.